Let's talk about NASA's 2026 budget request. But it's really just the skinny budget, which doesn't have a lot of detail yet. And we won't have that detail until mid-June when the president releases a more detailed budget plan that then goes to Congress. But what we do see is that the NASA request, it fits in the administration's broader priorities of reducing the costs of the federal government. It also tells us a bit about what the administration wants to do in space in 2026 and the direction it wants to go. This chart shows the change in the 25 enacted numbers in millions of dollars. At a very high level, the president is asking for about 19 billion for NASA in 2026. That is about 25% less from the about 25 billion that NASA got in 2025. You'll see here on the left, there is an increase of 647 to human space exploration. The administration wants to continue NASA's plans to get humans back to the moon before China gets there for the first time. It also wants to look more at landing humans on Mars. That's the reason for that increase. We also see though here a reduction in $879 million for legacy human exploration systems. What this is telling us is that the administration wants to look at human spaceflight differently. It wants to see if it can be done more cost-effectively, more efficiently, using commercial options. We see this reduction in $508 million to the International Space Station. This is telling us that the administration wants to look beyond what we're doing now in low Earth orbit with humans, which is the International Space Station, to what happens next. And that's going to happen commercially when the International Space Station is deorbited in 2030. We also see, though, reductions in space science and earth science and a lot of other accounts on this chart. The issue is that we don't have too much detail yet to know precisely what programs are affected, how they are affected, how these affect work at NASA centers around the country. We have some idea of what the impacts would be, of which programs might be canceled, but we don't have enough details to really say across the board what these numbers mean. And that really just goes to the broader point of NASA's budget. This is just the skinny budget. We don't have a lot of the details yet. We don't know what a lot of the impacts will be from some of these proposed changes. We have these high level trends that we can discern, but that's about it right now. We're gonna have to wait till June to really find out what that full budget is, what the full plan is, what the details are. And right now in a lot of ways, we're just guessing.